Hi, my name is Alex Christensen and I'm the developer over at UC Davis Medical Center, CTSC. I'm going to show you today how to edit the CSS style sheet. So it's pretty easy. Uh, I'm doing it on a Mac, but it's pretty much the same principle on a PC. Uh, so I'm going to show you the Biostats page. So as you can see, our banners, our H2 tags, are rather small. Now I'm going to inspect it. I'm using Google Chrome right now. Uh, you don't have to know how to do this. This is just showing you so we can uh, see what's going on. Uh, now there's a span tags that are surrounding the H2 and it's setting the color. Now we see there's a content H2 that's making it bold. That's 10 pixels and here's the fonts that it's using. So if I go down to themes We'll go to default, CSS, and the default CSS right here. I'm going to click on it, on the check mark, go to edit, and then edit with. Now, you have to make sure that your Java is up to date on this or else you're going to have issues and it's a pain in the butt uh, because you have to go through your Java control panel and add the URL of team site so that it will allow access for Java, for Java, um, so now, after you've done that, if your Java is up to date, you'll get this screen, and now you're going to want to navigate to your application that you want to use. You can use Notepad, uh, whatever you're used to editing CSS or HTML in. Uh, I use Dreamweaver, so I'm just going to click on Dreamweaver's execution file. file. Uh, and for Mac, something to keep in mind is that they don't use executable files.exe, so you have to find the Unix executable file. And it's uh, rather easy to do once you realize you're looking for the Unix one. And then I'm just going to click open, and it's going to instantly open up Dreamweaver and load the CSS page. Now, your code is going to look a lot different color-wise. I have mine specific so that I can see the text a lot easier, uh, better on my eyes. So I'm going to scroll down to the bottom because I know exactly where the CSS code is. Now, if we were looking for it, we could always just go Control-F. Uh, we know it was... Content H2, and we're just going to click Find Next, and it's going to bring us directly down to the bottom. Now we see here, this is what was affecting the code. We got font, bold, 10 pixels, and then the file that they're using. So we're going to bump that up to, we know we want it to be 18 pixels. And now all I'm going to do is just save it. And then now I'm going to go back, and we'll see right here, the default CSS pop right up. I'm going to click on it and then click upload. Now we see it's disappeared, meaning it's been uploaded. I'm going to go back to the Biostats page. And I'm going to refresh the page. And we can see our text has taken place. Now it's highlighted again, and we'll see it's back to 18 pixels. So that's how you change the CSS. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Um, it's pretty simple. Once you learn it and start using it, you'll realize how, how much easier it is. Uh, and you should definitely have style sheets instead of putting all your styles within the pages themselves, because uh, that can get really cluttered for the page and make it really slow. Um, that's pretty much up. That's pretty much for this tutorial. Uh, I'll have a couple more out there, so keep a lookout. Thank you.